If you haven't heard this like a hundred times already in the past weeks, Veed is now the default asset bundler for Laravel. I've gotten so used to work with Mix that this was a bit intimidating at first. But after a few hiccups here and there, I've come to realize how good of a change this was. So to help you get over the hump and avoid any headaches, here are my two cents on how to get up and running with Veed and Laravel. The first question I had when Veed was made official was, how do I migrate my current project to Veed? Thankfully, there is the official guide for migrating over to Veed. I'll leave a link in the description. If you follow these instructions verbatim, you'll be using Veed in your project without any hassle. But what if you created a new project and for some reason you want to go back to using Laravel Mix? It's a valid option after all. Well, the same people who created the migration guide also created the reverse option. Here you can find detailed steps for moving from V to Mix without any problems. There is also another even easier option to move your projects from Mix to V, and that is Laravel Shift. They recently added a free shift option which will create a new pull request for you, which I think is amazing. Keep in mind that your project needs to be in GitHub, Bitbucket or GitLabs for this to work. Simply log in with your GitHub, Bitbucket or GitLabs credentials, type the repository name and the branch where the code should be merged into. And don't worry, you can still review the changes before merging. If you're using Vue.js in your project, there are a couple of things you need to be aware of. There is a small change in the way you create Vue.js apps. For example, I have a simple JavaScript file here that imports a greeting component and creates a Vue.js app. In the past, you would import create app from Vue. But this will now throw an error and the components won't load. To fix it, simply import create app from view slash this slash view.esm dash bundler. Finally, Veed offers hot reload when you make changes to your files, but by default this doesn't include blade templates. Thankfully, all you have to do is make sure you have the latest version of the Laravel Veed plugin which at the time of this recording is 0.3.0. And then change the Laravel plugin section to look like this. Restart the vdev server if you have one running. And now if you make changes to your Blade templates, your browser will reload automatically. Okay, that'll be all for today. As always, if you found anything helpful in this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.